as you become more valuable, you become more valuable to the organization, but you also are protecting yourself. Yeah. If something happens, you're more valuable. So take on those things that are gonna add value to them and help you grow at the same time. Mine was from Moeller, it was perseverance as a leader regardless of what you're facing. That was something. Stick it to your conviction. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay. I actually have two quotes to go to. Um, the Christian leader cannot succumb to the temptations, the ostentation, and the glorification of power. Mm -hmm. And then he also said, the stewardship of power is one of the greatest moral challenges any leader will ever face. It is. Uh, power is amazingly seductive, too. Go ahead. Um, mine is also chapter 12, when your organization doesn't, um, trust, doesn't believe in you. And it took me back to where my district my regional manager said everyone is replaceable. Wow. And it set the tone that yeah, now, we, now people in the office make the joke that, you know, you can be replaced. Yeah, he sure it did. He of course it did. And so you see everybody still works as hard, but it always is like everybody looking over their shoulder type thing, like, am I going to go somewhere? Don't actually give this to him, but this is for him. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, don't actually do it, but that, that's just, yeah, that's... Now, there's a difference between that being said when you're getting too cocky and we're trying to help you see reality, but that kind of thing just sets such a, um, such a terrible tone of instability. That, yeah. Especially okay. the federal government. Who had spoken? Uh, I'll just wait. Quick. 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 I, um, Waiting on you to go. I, 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 the, the one is uh, the, the dominating the power. Um, it, it even goes back to like the boxing days. You show yourself the fighter, hit first, hit first, because you want to uh, get that, uh, you know, you want to establish the dominant power. So when right. I read the, uh, the chapter where it says strike first so you can, you know, dominate the power, it just kind of corresponds with the, you know, the reality of boxing. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next for me, it was very helpful because I think if you don't put on a paper, uh -huh. it, it seems like it's not tangible. Like if you put everything on paper and you have to think more about it, mm -hmm. then uh, it's really helpful. Gotcha. Good. Anybody else? Is that it? You can go. No, when I was at work acting with you, I don't really like reading goals, but I love how he, he said to like look at the things, that, look at your dreams, and look at the things that bring you pleasure. Mm -hmm. I thought that was like a really good place to start. It took me a lesson. Yeah, so. good. Okay, we will see you back in two weeks. Remember, two weeks, not four. Okay, and uh, we'll be knee deep in Cialdini at that point. Dr. Ferris, so we're still doing two articles. Yep, 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 yep. Good articles, by the way, guys.